Hey guys, welcome back to Little and Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today I'm going to show you how I strip cups. Um, you guys have been requesting this from me a lot, and I hate stripping cups. So I always just make a cup work and figure something out and do a tip or trick um, here or there to make the cup work. Um, but this one, I completely screwed up on. I did it. I use this in a tutorial, and that's probably why I didn't even notice that I spelled vi vineyard wrong. It needs an e right here. I gave it to my mom. She says she doesn't care, but I told her, Mom, I need a cup to strip anyways on camera because you guys are asking me and asking me and asking me for weeks, and I haven't had a cup yet that I need to strip. So I said, this is the perfect opportunity for me to strip this one down for you guys, let you see how it, the process that I used to remove uh, the epoxy and the paint, and uh, then I just will rebuild her cup and remake it. So one, you will need a torch, a kitchen torch. Um, you can use a heat gun. It doesn't work as well, but it does the same trick. Um, you're going to need acetone, you're going to need cotton balls, you need a scraping tool and an X-Acto knife and your chemical mask. Now, you guys are going to hear a lot of extra noise in the video today because I have my entire workshop open because this puts off a lot of fumes when you do this. And uh, so I have everything open, all my fans going, all my heat stuff going, just to keep this moving so I don't get a headache. Uh, but because I have my chemical mask, I should be fine. But I want to be able to remove my mask in like an hour so that I can just be in this room and so I've got it ventilating really well. So I'm gonna sound like Darth Vader for a second, guys, as I do this. I'm gonna, I am now into my chemical mask. It's very easy to apply and put on. I'm gonna hook my, sorry, you're gonna hear a little noise, background noise. Hook this mic up to my mask. There we go. So now I'm gonna to try to talk a little bit louder so you guys can hear me because I have my ventilation mask on um, just because this is gonna put off a lot of fumage. So what you first need is your X-Acto knife and your heat torch. Now you wanna be really careful with your heat torch, guys, because this thing does, this gets super hot and this will get super hot. So what you wanna do, I start with just taking my knife and be very proficient working with a uh, X-Acto knife, guys. If you don't know how to work with an X-Acto knife or a super sharp knife, please, please, please educate yourself on this. I don't need anybody slicing their thumb off and going into the emergency room. So I'm just using a lot of pressure and scoring down the cup. So this cup has, what, four layers of epoxy on it, I believe. I'm trying to think back to when I made it to the, at the tutorial. Because it has the layers of epoxy between the two colors of the wood. And then it has the layers of epoxy over it to make it shiny and beautiful on the top. So I'm just, whoop. I'm just pushing really firm and scoring down. We're going to do this mul multiple times, but we're going to start out with this round and just press and score. They don't have to be any certain length or width or anything. It's just giving yourself strips to work with. All right. So that's where we're going to start. Then you're going to take your heat gun and you're going to pick a couple of these sections. You can see that it's smoking and that is why I'm wearing my mask, guys. You're heating up this epoxy super hot with this knife, I mean with this torch. Okay. Then you can either take your X-Acto knife or your scraper and it just comes right off. And that is why they say not to put these in the dishwasher guys because the super heat of the dishwasher will make this uh, epoxy go soft and then it affects the integrity of the cup. Okay, see, I'm slicing away from myself, guys, when I do this, because I don't want to cut myself. But you can see how easily this is just, literally just peeling. I could probably even peel it off with my hands. So even though I only got on that two sections, it can still feel that the epoxy, that is so, this is so hot that it heats up a width of this epoxy, not just right where you touch it. And see with the scoring, you can almost get under it and see how it's peeling up in strips from the scoring. Okay, that's where it's about run out. So the cup is still warm, so be aware of that. It's not hot, hot anymore, but it's pretty warm still. But see, that's why I cut away from myself, so I don't actually cut into myself. Okay, it's starting to cool down. So now we'll do the next section. I'm gonna heat that epoxy up really well. I'm 
and just peel it off. And I just use the exacto. This is my old crummy. I buy these exacto knives at the dollar store so that I don't get sad if they get ruined. They're just a dollar in the hardware department. And just scrape her off. Every once in a while, I'll test it to see if you can get a good peel going. See, from heating it up, I'm able to lift it away. from the cup pretty easily and scrape that under layer off. You'll never catch me using my really nice Cricut knives for this. This is always a dollar store knife thing, guys. some more. See, because I scored it, they peel off in strips. We've broken, we've now broken the seal. Well, all right, you might be getting where it's not warm anymore. Anywhere where it's warm, it just lifts away from the cup. That's not really warm, so it's getting hard. Okay. Clean the lip. Okay, and I'm gonna heat this up because this is actually epoxy under here. This is the level of epoxy. That's the round of epoxy that was between the two colors of the wood. And so that won't clean off there easily. Flammable, guys. I just removed my mask for a second, just long enough to breathe out, but I breathed in well, I was still in my mask and I just exhaled on the fire. So I didn't want to take in any of that fume. That's why it took me a second to blow it out because I was making sure I breathe. I was thinking through the process of breathing in while I was just still in my mask to just exhaling on the fire. If you feel safer, always have an extinguisher next to you. I always have one because I've lit my house on fire. That's a long story. I'm, oh, that's why I'm very overly cautious with you guys when I say about those uh, certain Turner motors because I have actually lit my house on fire, not with a Turner motor, but I am aware that it is not that hard to light your house on fire. It happens. Okay. I left a candle burning overnight, forgot about it, and it was not in a glass jar it was just in a bowl full of like shells or decorative stuff and it burned through over the night and threw down into the stuff that it was decorating decorating and lit that all on fire and i had a house fire it was awesome not really don't ever let your house on fire it's extremely messy to clean up okay next section This is why I try not to strip cups, guys. It is a total pain. Even the easiest ways. Some people use bags of acetone. I I hate stripping. And the acetone thing, it just takes days and lots of time. And this takes like 15 minutes and I can get a cup strip. So I prefer this way. I'm just getting it extra clean just so you guys can see me get it all the way down to the, the, the bottom. Um, let's see if 
open and get that peeled up. Yep, still warm. So you can actually feel where the epoxy's warm and I know that it'll peel up if I get it at that point. Well, how pretty is that? <laughs> how funny. All because I forgot the E, you guys. I couldn't believe it. Actually, I didn't even forget the E. It just, that's the way it was spelled when it came to me and then I just mimicked it because I was in a hurry. So I guess, yes, I did forget the E. I can't, I can't, I didn't catch the mistake. Okay, so this is cool. This is not very warm, so we're gonna heat it up. For that we are good you guys i would normally just keep scraping away at this but i want to get you moving and show you the next step all right so we basically got all the big lops of epoxy off try getting my little knife down in there Whee. that's how you know you got a good seal and pull that off All right, we got all that junk. Now we're gonna do some, I'm gonna just show you how to remove all this. Um, so I'm gonna take my gloves, just one. I just do this to protect my pretty nails. Okay, then you got your acetone. I saturate. A cotton ball with the acetone and remove that paint. It takes it off really easy. We'll use a lot of cotton balls. Normally I don't use cotton, but I know we're going to end up um, still sanding and messing with this cup a bit. All right, guys, and just like that, you get all the paint off. Just keep going around the cup, getting all that paint off. It's super easy. Just take some, it's just tedious, guys. It's not hard, it's just, it's just a pain. Plus it's sad, I'm depressed. Because I love this cup. I was very, very proud of it. Very happy to give it to my mom. And I was just bummed to have to tell her I had to take it back because I screwed it up. So we're just getting all that paint off. Okay, so then you're left with these little bits. These are just, these are that thin hang method layer of epoxy that I had. So what I now do with this, you guys, is you can use any type of sander. A hand sander, a belt sander, the drill master tool. I have a big belt sander and I will now go through and belt sand this and it will be done. I will use the heat, scrape that off just like you saw me doing. Um, what I just generally tell people is if you have to strip a cup, don't plan on that being a non-glitter cup because you, you can get it pretty stripped, but to get it perfect will take you way too long. Get it to where it's pretty good. You've got most of everything off. Sand it with a belt sander or a hand sander to get a lot of these little extra bits off and then cover the thing with glitter again because you won't have to worry about any little bumps or scratches or nicks because the glitter will just kind of hide all that. Um, so 
Uh, I'm gonna, I'll be right back guys. I'm gonna show you a cup that I'm working on that I've actually stripped and redoing. Hang okay on. guys, this is a cup that I've actually previously stripped and I'm reusing. So you can see the neon. This was a cup that I was doing for a fishing lure. You can see the neon in there and the neon in there from the fishing, fishing lure uh, spray paints. Uh, but I am now making it into something completely different. Uh, the fishing lure cup got dropped and uh, the paint got contaminated and got to be a very weird color. So I just decided that that was going to be one of my strip cups and I was going to turn it into something different. So I stripped off that, painted over it, and started over and I put uh, scales on it that would cover it. So that covers all the little bumps and things. But you can do it with glitter or something, but you just don't want to try to have it be a flat, like, red spray painted cup with a sticker on it because it will just never be perfect it will always show all that the little imperfections behind the uh on top behind the spray paint all right guys so that's kind of the basics of stripping uh just kind of belt sand and hand sand it down until you get to the base until you're happy with what it looks like uh go ahead and if you guys have never seen one of my there's a lot of people that see these random bits and pieces in my youtube channel that aren't really have to do with anything so if you guys have not seen any of my other channel um, episodes please at least watch one other one of something pretty that i'm making not just this how to strip a cup um, be inspired by my other videos this is just something that goes along with all the amazing creations i'm doing like this beautiful bad boy up here that's not even done that's step one um, so check out some of my other video guys subscribe to my channel give us a thumbs up uh, drop some comments in the comment section just let me know what you guys think um, any tips, tricks, whatever, just let's get talking. Uh, all right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.